I recommended this book, one of my all-time faves, Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. And a lot of people wrote in and said, oh, I love that book, I've read it, it's a wonderful book, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to tell you about something else that you might not be aware of, also from Yogananda. This is a tape of one of the last talks, if not the last talk he ever gave before he, before he died, 1952. It's called Awake in the Cosmic Dream. And it's one of the all-time great ones. I mean, I probably listened to this 50 times. I can like practically quote the whole thing, including with Yogananda's Indian accent, which I won't do here on this thing. But what's so, one of the things about a true guru or a holy man or an avatar or anybody like that is nothing replaces the person's actual presence. You know, you can read a book and all that, but if you could actually see the person or be in their actual presence. And the next best, that, that's so powerful. And the next best thing is the voice. And this is just a wonderful talk. You know, the thing about Yogananda is in addition to being very accessible, the stories that he tells, you can hear it in the audience. People are just laughing all the time. He's very funny. But at the same time, you're really aware that you're in the presence of somebody that's not a normal human being. This is somebody on a whole other level, on the level of an avatar of a true holy man. And there's one great little um, passage that he talks about here. He's talking about, well, uh, when uh, somebody like Yogananda dies, his devotees, his followers, and he himself don't call it death. They call it maha samadhi. Samadhi being the moment of enlightenment, of union with the divine. Maha meaning great. So Maha Samadhi means the great moment of union with the divine. So when Yogananda passes out of his body, he's moving on to the next level. And then there's the great concept of, uh, I guess it's originally a Buddhist concept of the Bodhisattva. And the Bodhisattva is a person who has evolved so highly that when he or she moves on to the next dimension, they don't have to re be reborn and live out the cycle of karma again and again. But that person, the Bodhisattva, decides on his or her own to come back willingly, voluntarily, and not for their own purposes, but to help others. And Yogananda is very definitely one of these Bodhisattvas. But in this quote, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to remember it word for word. He says something like, he's giving a talk to his followers. And he says, if I come again, and I shall, I'll have lots of places to go. And I'll take a seat in the back, and I'll chant with many. I'll know them, but they won't know me. And I just thought that was really great, and I absolutely believe it. So it's like, that has really stuck with me, because like, the idea of, I'll know them, but they won't know me. It's like when you walk past the worst homeless encampment you can imagine, and you may be thinking, you know, certain thoughts that are kind of negative. One of those guys, or gals, could be Yogananda, could be an avatar, could be somebody coming back. So you never know when a bodhisattva is going to appear in your life, and it could be Yogananda himself. But this, you can only order it from self-realization fellowships. Awake in the Cosmic Dream, it's, it's great. Like I said, I've listened to it 50 times, and I'm going to listen to it 50 more times.